Hey, this is Donny. Donny, Kryptoni, and today we are going to talk about entrepreneurship because citing the classic hostility towards entrepreneurship will not work. This is why we are going to focus on the real entrepreneurs, on the people who take the risk, who are not afraid and build the products that people want, that people use and that people have fun using. The people who build despite all the obstacles, despite others being against them, those who don't give up, instead of focusing on the so-called entrepreneurs, so-called champagne socialists that live at the expense of the public funds. This is why today we are going to talk about Kujira, the project that delivers fun to users. So before we start, make sure you like this video. Let's try to make this video really popular so those who stand against will crawl in the pain. So once again, like this video and let's start. Let's not pretend I, I am late, you know, I've been not paying attention to the Kujira since the start. I heard a lot of red flags, but despite that, I noticed really strong community that kept engaging and they stayed around. And also in this bear market, it's surely one of the most or not the most active Cosmos communities that is out there. So I decided to have a look. What's going on with Kujira? And it appears there is a lot going on. So we are going to go to the application and we are going to see the few projects they have built for the users. Why users like Kujira? Because it's not just shillers, right? There must be something why they align themselves with Kujira. And also we are going to look inside the Kujira ecosystem. We are not going to forget about the dangers because there is always some dangers when using Crypto Pipto. Kujira offer a few products. The first and probably still most interesting product is the Orca. Imagine when liquidations happen, when the market dumps, you know, a lot of bots can benefit from that, you know. Some liquidation happens and maybe you can get Atom for $6 while liquidated and right now is for $8. You could get the Atom for 6 and sell it right away at $8 banking the profit. Before it was gained from the bots, but Orca allows you to bet on this. So um, I'm going to open Orca. They also have Fin, which is the decentralized exchange with the order book. So you can think of this as osmosis, but they also have the order book. So it gives you a little bit more possibilities. And Bao is actually connected to Fin. So they break it down as the separate pro products, but Bao allows you to participate in the providing liquidity. So you are a liquidity provider and there's some differences between those um, other exchanges in the Cosmos ecosystem. So the first product we are going to talk about is Orca, where you can bid for discounted asset when they get liquidated. And I want to focus on why this is so popular and why some other products struggle with adoption, struggle with the price performance and struggle with loyal users. You need to understand that crypto is all about meta. Crypto is all about the game. Those words mean nothing, but the game is the keyword. Users want to have fun. Do they want to have fun? swapping tokens and doing nothing, users have a lot of fun and a lot of dopamine release when they can, when they can win, when they can win some trade. And when they can get discounted asset and sell it right away higher for 10% higher or 20% higher, that's the game for them. This is what they're hunting for. So making money via some product is the game for them. They enjoy it. And this is why Kujira has such a strong community because they enjoy it, because they participate in this game. So there is a lot of assets across a Cosmos ecosystem, but what I really like, there is also Arbitrum, right? Um, there is also AVAX, 
uh, with not, well, I said AVAX, there is no liquidity for AVAX, for Arbitrum there is some liquidity, uh, but there is more liquidity for BNB, for BTC, over, over 130k, uh, for DOT is 31k, for Wrapped Ethereum is actually over 700k, and this would be really interesting product for me, so I think uh, Wrapped Ethereum and Atom is really interesting product, um, you know, it's uh, usually with the stable coin, USK that we are going to talk about, but it shows you the max discount you can get. So how, how it works, you can view the market, right? And you can bid the discount at the premium. You, you can fail because market can, you know, drop so much, you can buy it at the discount, but if market drops more, you will be actually having more expensive atom. But that's also good tool for, um, dollar cost averaging, you know, like, hey, uh, what if Atom goes 10% down, you can beat up the discount and leave this and maybe in the next week when the market is very volatile, you actually will receive that from the liquidations, right? You want to play it more aggressive, you, you pay premium discount, you know, 20 or, or 30%. So you can see most of the beats is over here a 25% discount, you know, so if someone goes 22, you can you can catch it um, before I'm using this first time, you know, so I don't I don't know much about this, uh, but I'm willing to explore and I could use $100 to do it, right? And then I simply play some beat. And when there is liquidations, this bid getting fulfilled. So I'm not going to buy it. I don't have USK. I didn't buy. I could I, I could do it quickly. You know, below you have information, and maybe I should contact someone to actually tell me everything step by step. But I think for average user, it doesn't really matter. For average user, is once again winning the game, and the game is here. So when it comes to liquidity, so it's connected to the um, to the decks, right? So. Uh, unfortunately, liquidity is not very deep, right? I want to, can I make it slightly smaller? So you can see the the Atom USK has good liquidity over 100,000, uh, 100, Kuji Atom over 200,000, but those numbers are still far away. And I think this is danger, you know, Kujira should really work harder on getting deeper liquidity, but there is the certain trend in Cosmos that you need to incentivize those pools with hundreds percent of APR via issuance of additional tokens. Kujira doesn't really want to issue the tokens. So for many people, they look here and they say, hey, on Atom USK, and there is 38%, on Kuji Atom, there is 29%. It's not as high as some people can make um, on other exchanges. There is the difference that this generates more of the real yield and it doesn't dilute the Kuji assets, for example. So you might get higher by percentage APR, but what if the token dumps by a lot? And it seems that Kuji token was much more stable. So for example, I want to see Atom USK um, combined APR. So 5% just from the trading fees, which is quite high um, to be honest, uh, how about Kuji Atom? 15% from the trading fees, which is like those numbers are, are truly quite um, unseen. Uh, we, we, we can see over here a little bit better. Uh, look at the trading fees. Uh, so I want to like well USK over 20%. Uh, some other token with actually deep liquidity. Let's focus on the deep liquidity over 20%. Uh, you know, Kuji Atom 15%, those are very high fees. And I believe it's because the volume is increased via those liquidations. So they kind of find the way to increase the real yield. And that might be something. But danger, of course, is there. The danger is still not enough liquidity. And, you know, for them, I would hope that uh, they, they will be able to build up the liquidity simply maybe by increasing the hype. Uh, regarding platform. It's important to mention the stablecoin. It's truly interesting product. There was some voices before, the voices of concern, and mine was one of them, that this is closed source. And apparently there is one wallet that uh, had power of minting those USK. 
I'm not a fan when there is whether it's a multi seek or whatever because those can get exploited. I wonder if Kujira could find a way that this could be secured by validators, right? So I'm not saying there is um, misdoing, but you always, when you use financial products, you are concerned if there is a way to get exploited. I want to say it doesn't mean that the open source don't get exploited because when you get mistaken a code, you know, with open source, it happened. And it happened with Osmosis before. Someone um, got additional $8 million of tokens and the team was informed and the chain was halted. If that would happen here, the process would be the same, right? The founders inform, the, the, the chain would try to be uh, probably halted. So it doesn't mean that open source is necessarily um, super secure, um, but obviously the, when it's closed source, some people wonder if there is mistake of the code that the team might not know. So they improving, and I hope it really will be very strong product and very strong stable coin that is decentralized. Actually, we don't really have the centralized stable coins in Cosmos. So USK, maybe they, they will have interesting value proposition here. As I looked into Kujira ecosystem, there is more things, which is very interesting to see that essentially the Kujira is the chain without crazy funding, with small team, but the real game innovation for the users happened here. And the example is this product, Calc. So if you want to dollar cost averaging, let's quickly explore. I, I will do video committed to this. So let's launch the, launch the application and you can uh, launch the app whether connected to Kujira, to Osmosis. Osmosis has deeper liquidity here, right? So I could do Osmosis. So people don't say I don't support someone, um, but someone else. So what you can do with the calc, you can actually choose the strategy standard DCA, and you can customize your own dollar cost averaging or weighted scale in, buy more when the price is low and less when the price is up. So you can essentially get there and try to dollar cost average. So maybe I could go and start dollar cost averaging for, you know, if the price gonna drop 5%. And with this, if you have these targets and can leave them, it automates the process for you. So let's say I would like to, you know, um, so on osmosis is USDC. So now I can do it. I don't have deposit, but you see there is another product where people can go and hey, I can dollar cost average. I can automate process. Maybe I can win. This is the game. And this is very unique about uh, Kujira ecosystem that I'm excited to explore. And it proves to you that you don't really have to have large organizations be behind you to build products and to bring the innovation and fun to users because surely looking at this ecosystem, there is a lot of innovation going on. I am Don, Don Kryptonium, and I truly hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't liked this video, make sure you now obliterate the like button. With that, Don Kryptonium's out. Till the next time.